I love your outfit. Thank you. So wait, I have to say this. You have a new addition since the last time we talked. Um, it, you have a little one now. I have a baby. Yep. Yes, Cosmo. He's about, um, I think, 15 months old. 14 months. Oh, the cat, the whole months thing has eluded me. I know, but you still get the baby smell. Mine are six and eight, so I don't have baby smell anymore. That's oh, so cute. That's a, yeah, the baby smell is like oh, you want to just bottle. Skin on skin, and mm. you just take them in. Delicious. I love it. How did you come <laughs> up with the name Cosmo? Oh, gosh. Um, yeah, we just threw a bunch of letters together. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, that out. works. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it just seemed like a really kind of, I just thought it was so charming. And then, um, you know, our friends all liked it. And then um, Colin's mom had a little bit of a harder time <laughs> with it. She was like, this seems kind of, she was, it was, it wasn't like sitting, she kept suggesting other versions of it yeah. for a while. And I was like, no, he's already like here. He's out. Right? He's at, it's yeah, I was like, it's past that time. have to like own it at this point. <laughs> I love yeah. that though. Cause is your daughter's Rose? Yes. Rose. My daughter's River Rose. That's the only reason why I knew that. But also I love that they're both flowers. They are both flowers. Yeah, I'm, I love, I'm a, a I'm, my kids hate plants of how much I love them. Oh really? And flowers. Yeah. They're yeah, like, oh good plants. But I love flowers <laughs> and plants. And I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That like, not a lot of people make that connection. But yeah. yeah. Cosmo is like a really sweet little flower. It comes in different shades of like orange and yellow yeah. and stuff like that. My, that's why yeah. my daughter liked it too. Yeah. So. See, they're both flowers. Yeah. But also I want to talk about this because last time we talked about music because I love your tone. So that's would you ever kind. release more music? Oh gosh. I don't know. I know. I honestly, like for me, the greatest joy I have is doing all the sing movies. I love you and sing. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. They're yeah. just so much fun. Yeah. And so hopefully there'll be another sing movie that will come out and I'll yeah. get to, last time I got to partner with Bono, which was insane. Wow. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, we got to do it. Um, we did stuck in a moment. Together, oh, I know. Which is, Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have children. We've seen, and honest to God, even if they leave the room, I still watch it. Yeah. Yeah, it, those, yeah. yeah those movies are really, they're, good. they're for everybody. Yeah. They're such great family movies. Yeah. But um, that would be like my next foray, would be if we hopefully would ever do another Sing movie, which hoping maybe we would do. And it's fun work to do. Like it to is. show up and just get in the studio and create these characters just by totally. you know, audio. Yeah. Yeah, I love, cool. I love doing voice work. I've done films where I just did voice work for the whole, you know, and just, tr it's mm. really interesting to not, you know, as an actor, you have your physicality and then you have your voice. And when you don't have one of those things, you know, everything becomes much more sort of like, Intense, intense and it's, yeah and yeah. it's interesting you have you get to play with the well you, that's all your job but you get to play with all the different intonation and nuance yeah. of your vocal performance in a really and how your voice line. sounds different in different tones yeah that's that's fun to do it is do fun. you sing around the house does Colin sing do y'all ever sing together um I feel uh, like your house would be fun I yeah <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah I mean Colin he did I, he, he oh, you're being sing. polite. <laughs> I was like, what am I sensing? Oh, that's being polite. Uh, Call sure. him tone deaf. <laughs> he, <laughs> no, he like <laughs> sings. He played, um, <laughs> he does sing. He was in um, Fiddler on the Roof like four times in, in high school. Okay. Um, so that's why sort was of he like, in it four times? Yeah, why did they do it so many times? Exactly. Or did they only get the rights to the one musical also, and they just kept? He also went to like a Catholic high school. School, so also strange that they did so many productions of Fiddler on on the Roof, that which is yeah, traditionally is not done with a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it more interesting. <laughs> yeah. Does he ever try out jokes on you, and then you're like, no? Um, yes, definitely. I uh, love yeah. that. There, there's a lot of times where I'm like. It's not, now, it, it's just, he also, like, he'll love um, a play on words or a pun, just really. Dad joke? Yeah, that, that have now become dad jokes. They used to be yeah. just, like, kind of duds, and now they're dads. <laughs> it's, um, a, it's the elevated step up. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, we do have, a, my daughter loves to sing, um, yeah. and she sings, she loves to make up songs, and they're very, like, stream of consciousness. That's which, my daughter, yeah. Yeah, which, and yeah. some of them are really, like, they'll give you kind of a key into, like, what she's thinking. Yeah. <laughs> which is really kind of can it get dark in your house because like all of a sudden she'll say something and I'm like what? like what yeah like she I don't my kids are really interested and scared about death right now oh yeah that like age. they don't understand my six-year-old is like why do I only get one life and I'm just Whoa. like wow I just didn't know that was gonna be a question <laughs> like I'm like did you explain I, the metaverse though and then I was like <laughs> They weren't ready. I'm not ready, Scarlett. People keep trying to explain it to me. And I'm like, what? I feel like and a six-year-old would understand. The better than exactly. me. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm, I think that's, that's the truth. So before the break, we were talking about singing, and I did not know this. So Katy Perry's song, I Kissed a Girl, like, you're the muse for that.
That is what I have heard. I feel like that's like a crossword that's puzzle incredible. question. That's um, incredible. Yes, I also heard that too, but it's not been confirmed from We're gonna need that Katy confirmed. Perry herself. I don't think so. Okay. So if well, she could I, just call in like <laughs> anytime now. Actually, we have Katy Perry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just thought, I was like, I didn't know that. That's incredible. That I, was like a massive hit. Oh, okay. What a I, muse well, you are. I will are. say this, because it, it, it's I kissed a girl and I liked it. That didn't happen. I, I've never oh, okay. kissed Katy Perry. Okay. Um, not that I know of anyway. I mean, Dr Like <laughs> men, like dreams just died everywhere. <laughs> it's like, it's fine. I mean, it was the off, so maybe I did. <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> maybe in the metaverse. Um, I don't understand it. Still, um, is it, I heard this was true too, that you once tweezed your friend's eyebrows completely off? Okay, first of all, it was the 90s, okay? <laughs> no one had eyebrows, so I would say she was pretty pleased with the results, because she was like, great, I have no eyebrows like Drew Barrymore and all those other girls that were like, Did I miss little, this phase? I don't remember a phase where people what? got rid of their eyebrows. Yes, it was like that kind of thing where you had like these like 20s, like sort of like, Little round eyebrows. I'm not cool. What? I'm not a member of any cool club. But <laughs> I've got some tweezers back. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but did they grow back? Um, hers did not grow back as we like wanted them to as much, I would say. Oh no. But at the time they were cute. Now more, I'd say patchier. <laughs> oh my God. Now there's all kinds of serums you can uh -huh. use though. Ser Whatever, well I, she asked me to do it. Well, here is a segue. Serums. Okay. Um, you have a new skincare line. That's very smooth. See, there you go. I'm, I'm working on it. Um, it's called The Outset. So let's bring it out. Justin has it right here. It's so, called The Outset. Why did you name it The Outset? Look uh, how carefully you're doing I, that. Oh my gosh. This yeah. is such a beautiful display. Yes. And I feel like... Yeah, you it, can oh turn it Oh my God, it spins. Right. Yes, we're very fancy. It's this is spins. season four. I feel like, season four. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the Home Shopping Network <laughs> right now. <laughs> um, so this is The Outset. I've been working on this skincare line for over five years. Wow. And we really, you know, this is like your return to essential everyday skincare. Yeah. Um, and we, the way we came up with the name is we kept thinking about like, what's at the start? You know, we really believe in like this idea of new beginnings and like, you know, starting afresh. And then it was like, and it's like at the outset of your day. Yeah. I thought, well, this is, this is cute. This oh, is working. Cool. I like and the name. It is, yeah. Thank you. It has been a, labor of love and I mean, it's just like, it's something that I am incredibly passionate and proud of. I am incredibly picky with skincare because I'm allergic to life. Um, so well, what, this is so this what sets apart, like what's, why should I use it? Because I'm excited to use yours because I'm stealing this yeah. and taking it home. Yes, the and there's this wonderful display you could also I'm gonna use take the whole thing. <laughs> um, you know, I think skincare has just become so complicated and there's like a lot of steps in these routines and they're, very active ingredients and there's I- There's so many steps, it's kind of hard, it's, yeah. It's crazy and your skin gets, there's like skin sensitivities on the yeah. rise and a lot of it's self-inflicted because we're yeah. using all these products that kind of like clash against one another. Mm -hmm. I think that like for me, I've always had sensitive skin, I've had acne prone skin. Me too, yes. cystic. And, and, yeah, me too. And I yeah. noticed that when I was just like going back to the basics and using like this very simple routine of cleansing and prepping and moisturizing and just putting moisture back in, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It actually like made my skin look healthy and clear. And I couldn't find that like on the market anywhere that was a transparent line, a clean skincare line made for sensitive skin where fragrance free, nut allergen free, oh. gluten free, cruelty free, all of it. Yeah. And, um, and it's effective, which is kind of a tough thing to do. It's, we definitely like set the bar high for ourselves, but it's, I'm That's incredibly awesome. you proud took of the time it. though. You took the time to make it right. That's a lot cool. of time and we did it, you know, I did it myself, you know, it's something that um, I kind of felt like I wanted to do something that really, that I, I'm a little bit of a control freak and I wanted to make sure that I saw through the entire project and yeah. was really proud. Your name's um, associated with it. It's yeah, my yeah, name it's and it's, product. Yeah, yeah, it's my product and yeah. I'm, you know, it's, it's something that's been, like I said, a labor of love, but I really can say that I stand fully behind this line and, you know, it's, I think the simplicity and ease of it is mm -hmm. kind of what makes it stand apart. I'm trying it. So I'm very I'm excited. excited for you. It's I'm for always sensitive looking skin. for this. And that's me. Yes. Um, <laughs> and my poor children. Sorry, genetics. Um. <laughs>